Hello there beautiful people, welcome back to my channel, thanks for clicking on another video. In today's video, as you can see by the title, we are doing an inner thigh workout. We are going to be working on toning and strengthening the muscles of the inner thighs, so working on the adductors, the quads, and it is going to be great. As with most of my workout videos, you don't need any equipment, I mean you can put a mat on the floor if you want, but to be honest, Meh, up to you, could use a towel. All you need is some space. I will explain each move to you, explaining the correct technique and how to do them. Don't worry about the timings, I've got that all covered too. And yeah, that's about it. If you like this kind of video, please don't forget to give it a huge thumbs up. Make sure that you subscribe for more videos. I'm uploading a new video every day of September to celebrate my birthday month, which is very dramatic, but also very fun and keeps me disciplined and uploading regularly. <laughs> Join me on Instagram, Twitter and Facebook. Make sure that you check out my website for more. And yeah, without further ado, let's get into the workout. You ready? All right, we're getting straight into the workout. Starting off on your side, we're gonna do some adductor leg raises, ready and go. So I want you to support the weight of your body with your arm. So support the weight of your upper body with your arm um, and lift the leg closest to the floor from bottom to around about 45 degrees, 50 degree angle, keeping it nice and straight leg turned out you can point the toe you can clock the foot it's completely up to you just lifting that leg i don't want you to let your leg sit though i want it kept off the ground so even if it just graces the ground with its presence you're not staying you're lifting it right back up and relax apart from when you rest obviously then you can stay for dinner um, but then we're going to go back in with some circles on the same leg ready and go so pointing that toe i want you to draw some circles so imagine the leg is a paintbrush a paintbrush so good that bob ross would be gel he'd be super gel so you're just going to paint some beautiful beautiful circles with that leg feeling gracious elongating that leg lifting it off the floor i want it around about 30 degrees turning the leg slightly out You'll feel this in your inner thigh and in your quads. Doing really well. Keep going in the same direction and remember what direction you're going in. And relax. Well done. So then we're gonna come back onto the other side and we're gonna make both legs even. Starting again with the adductor raises. Ready and go. Lifting that leg up. Feeling nice and artistic. It's quite an artistic movement, this, isn't it? Or am I just being a little, reading too much into it? But I just think it's a beautiful movement. Raising that leg up. You can point that toe if you want to be a little more bougie. But making sure that the movement is isolated in that leg. It's not like a chest to leg pulse, okay? Even though you'll get a natural swaying of the body, limit that, control that, keep it in check and just isolate the movement to the leg, just lifting up off the ground, doing really well and relax. And then we're gonna come in with some leg circles on the same leg again, being sure to remember what direction you go in, whether it's clockwise, anti-clockwise. Ready and go, painting that circle. Nice long leg, pointed toe long neck not hunching the shoulders the arm is just there to stabilize the upper body controlled in the movement leg about 30 degrees off the ground just keep drawing those tiny little circles doing really well it's all about control yes it's difficult but you're strong enough and that's what we're here for to work those muscles and relax now we're about to get our money's worth with an exercise that might not strike you as working the inner thighs, but uh, just you wait, just you wait. So we're going to lie on our back, keeping the lower back pressed below the mat, lift the legs up and go. I want you to turn your legs out. These are ballet toes, okay? We're getting 
super, super bougie with this. I want you to turn your legs out so that your kneecaps are almost facing away out of your body. I want you to cross one leg over the other, keeping a straight leg, legs at around about a 30 degree angle. So you will feel this in your core, you're welcome, but you will also feel this in your inner thighs and your quads. So really keeping a nice straight leg is very important and keeping the legs turned out is very important. A very small movement, so it's almost like you're drawing a C with each foot and relax well done all right we're going to come back onto our side and we're going to get in some more leg raises are you feeling this well if you're not you're about to ready and go lifting that leg up you can kind of grace the floor with your presence but just keep it moving imagine you're megan markle at an event you've got to keep it moving you grace them with your presence and you keep it moving, lifting that leg up, feeling the weight of the leg. You can apply some pressure as well if you feel like you wanna get some resistance in there. Isolating the movement in that leg, lifting it up, getting nice and strong. You can slow down, but try not to stop. You're doing so, so well. And relax. And then we're gonna come back in with some leg circles going in the opposite direction than you did the first time, ready and go. Paint that circle, pointing that foot, straight leg, slightly turned out, keeping it nice and lifted. It's tough, but you're tougher. You can do this. You can apply some pressure if you wanna increase the resistance. Doing really well, keep it moving round and round. Breathing in and out, shoulders nice and relaxed, neck nice and long, smile through the pain. <laughs> You're doing really well guys, well done. <laughs> and relax. And then we're coming down onto the other side. You can stretch by the way if you feel like you need to, listen to your body. But we're gonna go back in on the other side. Ready and go lifting that leg up you never knew your legs were so heavy right <laughs> lifting that leg up breathing through keep it moving you're doing so so well again you can push against for some added pressure all the way up i know it's tempting to sit at the bottom but don't keep it moving you can slow down but don't stop isolating the movement in the leg and relax, stretch it out. And then we're gonna come back in with the circles. You've got this, you can do it. I know you're feeling it, that's okay, me too. That's what we're here for. We feel it and we're stronger than it. Ready and go, pointing the toe, drawing those circles the opposite direction to which we went the last time keeping the leg around about a 30 degree angle. I know it's tempted to bend at the knee, but don't, don't do it, don't, don't do it. Just keep that leg straight. You can do this, there is not long left to go. Breathe in, breathe out, you can do this. I'm so proud of you. You can slow down, but don't stop. Using the arms to just support the weight of the body. Keep drawing those circles. Doing so, so well. And relax. And we are going to finish off this workout with some more ballet toes, lying on the back. Pop your hands under your bum, ready and go. So a nice straight leg around about 30 to 40 degree angle, legs turned out so your knees are facing out from the body as much as you can obviously, not, not excessively. Straight leg, crossing one leg over the other, pointed toes, lower back pressed in against the mat. That's why you have your hands under your bottom. You don't have to if you're able to keep the lower back pressed in without that. That's totally cool. That's awesome. You're feeling the abs, but you're also feeling the quads. Are you feeling your quads as well? That's good. That will help shape and define and strengthen. And relax. You did it. Well done. Well done. Well done. Let me know how you found it in the comments. I was feeling my inner thighs for like two years after this workout. And when I say two years, I mean like two days, but still, it was a workout. Well done, you guys. Love you so much. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.